Here's a request that came in. It's one I've received before. Not an unusual problem that people have sometimes. Uh, this person says, uh, do you have any tips on how to draw rounded shapes? I can never seem to get my rounded shapes to look right. You know, they just might not be round to begin with. Well, I'm aware that there are some instruction books, maybe on, on YouTube now too, I don't really know, that teach a method that for drawing things that are rounded that really is misleading. It really doesn't work in the in the line. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm not naming any names. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll know uh, when you run across this. But I've seen methods of teaching that say, uh, well, you can get the shape if you just draw a round circle. So you would draw something like that, and then you would draw another circle for this part of the body. And then, I've seen that pin's running out. And then you would draw a bigger circle for this type of the body. And according to that method of teaching, uh, you can then take those rounded shapes and, and create, in this case, a bird out of it. But I've seen that method applied to drawing figures, people, animals, uh, all sorts of things like that. That doesn't work in the long run. It doesn't teach you how to see the uniqueness of every shape you see. So I, I do not approve of that method because I think it's totally misleading. Uh, and so I'm going to show you what I mean when I said earlier that it might not be rounded to begin with or might not be round to begin with. And here's what I'm talking about. If you look at the shape of this bird's head, for example, if you will notice, it's, it's actually horizontal at the top. It's a straight line. You see that? A straight line at the top. It's not round. Now, if you just say bird's head to yourself and you draw a round circle, it's not going to look right because it's not round to begin with. In fact, you see it's more angular then it is round. It just has no edges between the change of direction and the angles. And so if you will take the attitude of, of looking for angles, how the direction, of which direction is that going? And is it is it a straight line? Are there straight lines in there, sequences of straight lines? You might, I think you'll find that you're going to come nearer to being able to draw the shape that you're looking at. So let's, let's just, let me guide you through how that can work for you. And so say if we start right here, you have really a straight line. Now, let me just say that these uh, whiteboards that we can get now with these little uh, erasable pens are really good to practice something like this on. So you can practice it, wipe it off, practice it, wipe it off. Well, that didn't wipe off completely, but we, uh, this is an old board. Nevertheless, you can then practice and begin to uh, find how something works without having pages and pages and pages of you know bad drawings left. So aside from that, just a recommendation for you. If you can see there, that is a straight line that moves kind of in this direction right here. Now, if you see it turns and it does something like that, and then it turns again and it does something like that. You can see on this side, it turns this way. It does something like that. And then it turns in the opposite direction and does something like that. And if you look underneath it there, see what happens? That's not a round circle sitting on top of a bigger round circle. You can see right there, that shape, this shape, actually turns up like that, turns up, and then we can see the shape of the beak right here and then it turns back and goes in that direction and then we see the eye interrupting right there. See like that. 
So you can see that is not round, that's a sequence of angles. So if you draw that as a sequence of angles, and then you can then you can round those out. You see, just round those angles out in the drawing itself. But that as you move along, you're going to see you don't really see any round shapes. Not really. You, this may be a little bit more rounded right here. But most of the shapes, most of these rounded, what appear to be rounded shapes you see in here, are really angle changes. So if, uh, to guide you just a little bit further, you see this is a longer angle. Uh, where an angle that starts about right here, it's a longer angle and it moves like that. And you see it, it stops right there and it changes direction. You see it moves down like that. And you see the angle on the inside does something like that. And then it changes direction and it does something like this. And then this right here changes direction and does something like that. That angle ends right there, you see there. And then we see here that sequence of angles. We see an uh, angle of a, a, fe uh, a feather sticking out right there. Then you see it drops straight right there. And then you see this goes down in this direction like this, then turns and goes in this direction like that. So if you can take that attitude, take it on an angle at a time and move across it, uh, then you'll see that begins to look more like the image of the bird. And going on the other side, look what happens there. You see this right here? You see how that is a straight connection that we see if even the eye is not rounded. You see what happens at the back of that eye right there? Now you know a bird's eye is round, right? If you look at it from the side, you know a bird's eye is round. That's not round. So it's not what you know, but it's training yourself to see it. See the direction it's moving in and how long or short that direction is. And so we can see there, what we have there is really a flat angle. You see that? That's really a flat angle. And then it changes right down here. We see what it does right there. It goes downhill more like that. This angle right there. And it's not a round shape. Uh, and then we can see here. See what happens right there? There's an angle that moves into the eye like that. And then look what's happened on the back side of it. As you can see here, that starts here about right there. It moves like that. And then it changes angle again. And then, now look at that. That's almost, that's almost vertical. See that? It moves down like that. And then we see another angle change of the, of the uh, bird's feather. You can see there, moving there. If you come right over in here and move, begin to move in that direction, you can see that really moves in this direction right here and then it changes and moves in this direction right here and then it changes and a little bit change there before it moves this way and then this way and then it goes horizontal so you can see that as you move through any shape any shape like uh, an animal where you have lots of feeling of curves lots of soft shapes uh, you can move in angles which way is it going and how far is it going? And as you pace yourself that way, you see that's a heck of a lot difference between you see now, if you were to draw just a circle up there for that head, you see how different that is from this. Now I pulled that over far enough. There we go. See how different this is from that. And then you can see if you were to try to draw that larger circle here, well, you see how we go. So those methods of drawing mislead you mislead you into looking for the wrong thing to begin with. So any method of drawing that gives you a formula uh, to follow is not go it's going to mislead you into following the formula rather than following what you're really seeing. When you learn to guide your, let your hand guide your eye according to, or let your eye guide your hand according to what you're really seeing in terms of which way is it tilted, which angle is it, and how far is it going, and where does it change, you will find that you'll be able to draw anything that's rounded accurately, and you'll find that it's not round after all. Be sure and view all of our quick tips. And while you're doing so, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, so you'll always get a notice when we produce a new quick tip, which is every week. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments section and we'll make a quick tip for you. 
Also, take a trip over to DyingMinds.com where I have full-length lessons, downloads, DVDs, lots of other stuff there, some free stuff for you. And while you're there, you can subscribe to the newsletter, and that way you'll always be informed every time we do something new.